See what you want, visualize it, bask in the expectation feeling of it arriving, then enjoy your manifestation. Except the waiting. Why do we have to wait? Can we speed up the time it takes to manifest? Well, in this video, we'll explain it all. Humans are so impatient. Just think about it. When we have to like wait in line, we are in such a hurry. Sometimes for no reason at all. Next time you're waiting and feeling urgency, think, do I really need to go anywhere? Sometimes we don't. Or think about when your phone or internet lags for half a second. Humans just love speed. We want things instantly. This includes our desires. We want that house now, that money now, that car now, that relationship now. Here's the truth about manifesting anything. There is no set time frame for it to show up because it's all on you. It could literally be the next day, but we aren't aligned yet. When we go from making 30K a year to wanting $100 million in the jackpot win, for example, that energy difference is so vastly different that it may take some time to adjust to it. The problem? Most people adjust too slowly and the waiting makes them turn around. Have you guys seen that picture of that guy digging for diamonds only to turn around right before he gets to them? That's how most people are when they're trying to manifest something. As long as we think about what we want, we move into the direction of getting it. It might not be overnight, but it's coming and every time we visualize it, we bring it closer. The problem arises when we give up and revert back. Then, like the guy in the picture with the diamonds, we go back to where we started, only beating our own drum of a perceived failure. Did you know when you gave up on your desire, you could have been one hour away from having it? So what do we do about waiting? Here's the thing, if you're even focusing on the waiting part, you're not aligned with your desire. You don't wait for something when you already have it. And to attract what you want, you have to pretend you already have it. When you pretend you already have it, you trick the universe into thinking you do already have it and it has to show up in order to keep this illusion of life on us. Our mind is the prover. It has to prove you right every time. Feeling like it's taking time, it'll prove to you that it is. Feel like it's not working, it'll prove that to you. Feel doubt, it'll give you more of it. When you think of your desire, it has to be something light to you. Meaning, if you're trying to pay your bills and you have no income, you kind of got to that no income place from your past thinking. That is drilled into your subconscious mind. So when you want to say, come up with a ton of money in a hurry to pay all your bills, it won't show up. Unless, and I will say it's possible, unless you hold that vibration most of your day without somehow reverting back in your subconscious mind programming of no income and not paying your bills. So. The best time to practice having money, for instance, is to already have at least enough to pay your bills. Then lightheartedly start playing with the idea of having more. Imagine winning the lottery every day, or imagine starting your business every day. Imagine anything you want and do it every day. Repetition is the secret, literally. I hope this video helps you, and if it does, consider subscribing. I post new Law of Attraction content every Monday through Friday. Have a blessed day and thanks for watching.